Hey everyone, Zurjit here with the x Fans Fans Channel. Here you give a quick taste of Outer Wilds. Before we get started, I just want to let you know we are very early in the game right now. A lot of this game is about uh, discovery and exploring for yourself and figuring stuff out. So we are actually only going to like the moon and I believe the first ruins you kind of encounter, not counting the ones on your home planet. So for those who do not know, Outer Wilds is a sort of a space exploration game where you wake up, you are a little space explorer man who goes and gets everything ready. You have this weird encounter with a statue and then you go off, and then your sun explodes 22 hours later. Or you die by suffocation, uh, your ship crashing, and ex uh, or you well, fa high falls kind of stuff. And when you die, you find out that all this information that you've gathered flashes before your eyes, and you wake back up <gasps> right at the beginning. And you have to Groundhog Day your way into figure out and figuring out what's happening and how to stop it. I believe it's about 22 minutes before it all goes terribly wrong. But uh, I'm going to actually just show you the uh, very first uh, moon that you kind of are encouraged to go to. And uh, I really like this game. I like how they handle the uh, death part of it. I actually was searching this planet and I found this weird seed thing that fell to the planet. And uh, I, I shot a this thing right here through it that has a camera to it. And it actually warped it to another planet. That's actually all cataloged right here. I believe it's this boy right here. So this dark seed bramble landed on the planet and I investigated and I shot my camera into it and it's like, hey, this camera then just warped to the home planet of this seed. I also found these ruins on my planet, which allude to a project that's around the sun, I believe. And that might be part of why the sun exploded or that could be a red herring kind of thing. But this is my ship. Uh, there is a running gag that the uh, retro rockets are terrible and that they will kill me. Uh, there is a button here. I'm going to let you know that this button just ejects the front cover. And uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that. So, of course, for those worried about how the uh, kind of flying goes, you are actually kind of with the right trigger here. and You're controlling the front and back motions, uh, left and right, kind of stuff like that. You can go up and down. But for those who don't really want to, like, that might be a little bit much to kind of uh, comprehend or uh, kind of, like, think about, you can always go to the uh, the zoomed out view and be like, hey, I'm just going to select the Adel rock and then I will let the, uh, ooh, I have booped into something that I should not have. Ooh, all right, we're going to figure this out. Nope, this is going to staying in. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to engage autopilot and let the uh, autopilot take care of it. And then we're going to do, we're going to turn. Are you landing mode? And we're going to slowly, slowly approach. And I believe those are the ruins on the right there. Here we go. There we go. See, the landing is fairly easy. Just be aware that if you do the autopilot and the uh, the um, the planet is like on the other side of the the um, of the uh, the celestial bodies on the other side of the planet, it will try to take you through the planet. I mean, we could go out there with absolutely nothing on, but let's uh, let's suit up. And of course, there they have said that there are other residents have who have already gone out uh, before. As you can see here, I have a little like kind of listening device. And it can let me know, like, hey, someone's like, it's like someone's already on this. Let's get out of here. Someone's already on this planet, and they're like, that's uh, I believe that's actually uh, back on home. Yeah, but there, I believe there's someone on this planet. I think he's, no, that's not him. But yeah, they're out there. They're playing their music. All right, there's the ruins over there. I have a flashlight, and then I have this fun little, um, like I was telling you before, I have this camera, and I can launch it, and I can take pictures with it. It's actually stuck there. I can also take uh, pictures like all around and like kind of fun stuff, which I think is cool. I can retrieve it. And then off we go. Uh, if you look in the top left, I have the ability to blast around. I also have fuel and air, which I need to conserve. And if you run by trees, you'll recover those. So let's go. Like I said before, this is still very early, so I'm trying my best to avoid spoilers. Ooh, puzzles.
I'm guessing it wants me to I'm guessing hold on, I bet I know what it wants. Come on, let it go. There it is. Very interesting. Let's go down. There's trees and stuff. Like they got they have these ruins that you can explore. And then they have these little um so the language of the people who came before you is weird. It actually kind of branches out. So what you do is you hold the button to translate. The uh, sun, giant steep, and Brita Hollow. And then it, it actually kind of spirals out as they tell a story. Go on. The universe. And then we can go back over here and side log entries. Kind of fun stuff like that. And then that's gonna be added to my ship log. Oop, nope, don't wanna do that. Get away. Oh, put that scroll there. And then, there we go. We're not gonna we're not gonna pursue this. We're gonna just go and visit the other guy. I'm just gonna get this all added to my wonderful little log for later. But yeah, if you're interested in this, I would highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I'm near a tree, so awesome. As you can see, also there's lower gravity here and all that kind of fun wonky stuff. Oop, overshot that. But yeah, I find this game incredibly charming. Uh, the 22 minute timer seems restrictive, but you if you set a goal, you will very much get to it. Let's go, and then we'll visit our friend over here and talk to him for a bit, and then I will leave a lot of this as being ambiguous to you guys just because of the nature of this game. Uh, I'm gonna say, first off, I am not the best pilot, but we're gonna try to land down here. But yeah, it's like this guy, I think, was like one of the first people to go off into space, and uh, he's just kind of chilled out here ever since. Unbuckle. Oh, oh, and like I said before, uh, where is it? Here it is. And now I have more uh, goodies. I can, uh, on the next cycle, I can now go and pursue some more stuff. I th Again, like, I really do think it's a great way that they do the entire st the story and how you're collecting information and all that kind of stuff. And I can never orient myself when I get out of the ship. Even if I'm facing the right way, I will mess it up. So since there are trees here, there's magically oxygen, and my buddy's here. Seems lonely up here. So they can chat by radio. You spy on us? Writing's pretty good. And they're like, what is this place? And all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, it's... You're going around. Uh, I know that there's a planet with like these giant tornadoes on it that'll fling stuff around. Unidentified signal nearby. So like I said before, where is it? That's another guy over there. I believe that's home. I can also, like, I can roast the marshmallow. Roasting marshmallows. Oh, I burned it. Didn't like that. But yeah. Hot marshmallow roasting action. So there you go. I know this is, didn't show too much, but again, like a lot of this is very much, very much kind of on exploring and seeing everything for yourself. Do you like that sick uh, wall ride I did? Totally intentional. But yeah, I am Zero JD. This is the X-Play Fan Channel. This is Outer Wilds. I would highly recommend it. Uh, the like I, like you saw before, the solar system isn't like super gigantic. 
So you are you aren't going to get super lost. The autopilot is amazing. Yes, you can fly into the sun. Trust me, I've done it. Do you want to? Should we end it like that? That'd be fun. All right, we're gonna go to the sun, guys, and I'll, and I'll actually show you like how like the uh, everything resets kind of thing. Awesome. Let's go. If we see it, we might get lucky. We might see the project I was talking about. Oh, let's circle around quickly until we see it. There's a weird thing that's been circling the sun very closely, and I believe that is... I think that... There it is. You can see it there right on the right of the sun. Right. And... Match velocity, and then go. I actually have a lot of forward momentum, but we'll we'll make it there. Don't worry, or reverse momentum. There we go. Here we go. But yeah, all the planets look like they're gonna be very unique, very fun to explore. Oxygen might become an issue, but if you stay near your ship, you're fine. But I am Zero JD. This is the X Blade Fan Channel. This is a big old sun. Oh, there it is. Wee. So when you die or the sun explodes, this is what happens. All this info, everything flashes through you. All the information you, cap you collect stays with you. And then... It loads. And breaks the tension. But then again, of course, you are right back here. That same thing exploding. And I am Zero JD. This is the X-Blaze Fan Channel. This was Outer Wilds. I would highly suggest that if you are curious about this at all. Again, it is very much about exploring and discovering all that kind of stuff yourself. I'm going to need to go reread all those log entries and all that kind of fun stuff. Play with that observatory thing. But thank you and have a nice day. Bye.